Today I'm going to be answering the question, how much vitamin D you really should be taking as well as why the heck you should even care. Now before I get started, uh, down below you'll notice that there's a link where I'm giving away a free report and, and video guide on shopping for and using dietary supplements to, to really improve your health. Now some health experts out there believe that as much as uh, 50 to 75 percent of the United States population is deficient in vitamin D, or what some people call the sunshine vitamin. Worldwide, perhaps a billion people need more of it. So who cares, right? I mean, what's the big deal? Vitamin D, whatever. Well, a deficiency has been linked to all kinds of health problems. Just to throw out some examples, could include like heart problems, weak bones, uh, cancer, as well as making it easier for a virus to make a comfy little home in your, in your body. Now, traditionally, where do you think everyone got this vitamin from? Yeah, the sun. Do you see a problem with that nowadays? Well, thanks to living in modern society, a lot of people work indoors, drive cars, and have televisions where they have these addicting shows going on, like Game of Thrones or you know whatever show you're addicted to. There's a bunch of them. Uh, now, to make matters even worse, well, it's not easy getting this stuff through food, and this is why a supplement can be a really great, wonderful choice. Now, overdosing on vitamin D can occur, but it's very, well, it's very difficult, very rare to. Someone would have to take several thousand international units, or IU, for several months in a row to come close to overdosing. This is much higher than any supplement would ever recommend. Now, the symptoms of an overdose would include things like nausea, headaches, frequent urination, and the most serious problem would be like something to have to do with the kidneys. Now when it comes to the ideal dosage of vitamin D, and there's still debate going on, not everyone's on the same page. Now to throw out what some people believe, uh, the National Institute of Health feels an adult should receive around 200 IU daily international units. If someone's between the age of 50 and 70, it could be increased to about 400 IU daily. And if a person lives to 70 years of old of age, which is great, I hope I make it to 70 years, then it should be around 600 IU a day. Now, there's a famous TV doctor called Dr. Oz. I don't know if you've heard of him, um, but he feels that adults should take around 1,000 IU daily. And another very influential doctor on the internet um, called Dr. Will recommends around 2,000 IU every single day. Also, uh, the Vitamin D Council recommends healthy adults take around 2,000 IU every day, as, as well as the Boston University Medical Center. There are some experts around there, too. Now, considering you know you need at least 5,000 IU of vitamin D, does someone have a chance of overdosing? I mean, taking 1,000, 2,000 IU a day I mean, it shouldn't really pose a huge problem to a lot of people. Next comes finding a good supplement to, to take this vitamin D, D stuff in. And like I mentioned, I do offer that report and video guide, which I, I really believe can help a lot of people because the truth is, is the whole supplement world is like the wild, wild west. And uh, companies can make crappy products very easily, sell them, and only after a whole bunch of people, people start getting hurt can they get uh, recalled. And uh, just to throw this out there, last year, April, there was uh, the... the the owner and the CEO of uh, Consumer Labs was on the Dr. Oz show and they tested all the great supplements out there and what they found was shocking. Around 40% of them have these problems, mislabeling, even some contaminations. So they're not all perfect and this guy can definitely help somebody in choosing these products, using them, as well as talk about some alternative health ideas which can really blow you away. So it's amazing and the best part is completely free. So why not? Check it out. To do that, all you gotta do is click on the link below this video. I hope uh, this video helped a couple people. Uh, thank you so much for giving me your time. Until next time, cheers. Uh, take care. Bye.